No, we're making guess of everything, not just like the the champions of salt. Not not just the champions of salt. We we gotta make all this. And then the person who has the most correct answers will win the fantasy bracket. We're calling it spice uh spice rack. They the audience can win the title of the winner of spice rack or the spiciest rack. The person who guesses the most correct answer from this fantasy bracket will award it with the title of spiciest rack. And then also a gift copy of any games that we played in the champion salt. Spice Lord? Spice Lord or spicy? I like the spiciest rack. Spice Boys? You know what? I like Spice Boys. <laughs> I like Spice Boys. The title title of Spice Boys. B-O-I-S. It's not B-O-Y-S. It's the B-O-I-S. Let's go with Spice Boys. Alright. So... Who's gonna win? This is easy. It's gonna be Ryan or it's gonna be Daniel. So this one's easy. I think this one is very easy. Oh. In my honest guess, I think the first pick game winner is gonna be Ryan. I think this one's this one's easy. <laughs> <laughs> is it really 50 50 though it's difficult to guess without knowing the game yeah but then chat told me not to tell you the game chat told me no spoilers so i i say it's northern lion um all right, who's gonna be so Ryan gets the first pick? Who's who's the? Would Austin be the number one pick? Or would it be Bear? I feel like I don't know. First pick Austin, hundred percent. Would Austin be number one? I don't know. I feel like Bear... Honestly, Bear is really high on my list. Because, like, Bear doesn't get tilted. Like, Bear can get tilted over social deduction games, like manipulation. But for game-wise, he will not... He will not... Get tilted all that easily. Just... Just for the gameplay. But I feel like for Austin, I think he can get really tilted easily. And then also, I feel like this is not just the competition of who is best at the games. It's the competition of also a social skill. Manipulation. I feel like if you have Bear Cafe in your team, I feel like he's he's honest. I think he's an, he's an honest man. No backstabbing. I think he would he would just truly a good person. So I think it's Bear in my opinion cuz I think he he's an honest man and also unlikely to get tilted and has good skills in game. Austin would sell out a teammate twice as often as Bear. So I'm gonna pick Bear. Bear Taffy. Then. Now. Dan gets to pick. But this is where it's hard, I think. So far it has been easy. But I think. I think. Um, it's hard. Who would Daniel pick? I feel like Daniel. He he's he want to play a game 
where it's not been played before. Even though the Champions of Salt, this is the first season, it has never been played before, but he wants to play a game that nobody played before. So I think he wants to pick someone like Robert. And not Austin. Because it's like, he would feel like if I were to go with Austin from here, it's too obvious. It's too obvious. It's Oh, but then I don't know, man. But then maybe he recognized that his gameplay skill is not the best among all six. So he might go for Austin just so that he has a better chance of winning games. Oh, it's so hard! <laughs> this is the hardest thing I've ever put myself in front of. I don't know if he will go for... I don't know if Dan will go for Austin. I don't know if... Dan will go for Rob. Oh! <laughs> oh, this is so hard. Oh my gosh. Dan has already mind flooded us. Even though he's not here. Oh my gosh. Does Dan want to carry more than not want to be so obvious? He takes Mouth because Mouth will never betray Ryan. Oh! Oh! Dude! And then so that he would create a... He would create the stage where best friends duking each other Fighting for the life. One is Sith and one is Jedi. He corrupted he corrupted his best friend to join the Sith. And so and so the Jedi and the Sith they have to fight. But Mouth will absolutely betray Ryan. <laughs> Everyone's like, they didn't even wait a second. They're just like, um, but Malph will just betray Ryan in a heartbeat. So, <laughs> oh my God. Okay. So let's just, let's play deduction game here then. It won't be Malph. I don't think Dan will pick Malph. Then we have Robert and we have Austin. Would... Would it be Austin? Would Dan go for Austin? That's true. If Dan picked Rob, then Ryan will pick Austin. Then his team will be way too strong. Bear, Taffy, Austin, and then gets Robert and Malf. I Okay, you know what? I think it's, it's Austin. So there you go. So then... Uh, now it's Mouth or Robert? Mouth or Robert? Oh, it's hard! Um... Mouth, he will go, he will go friend mode and go mouth. You think so? Let's be, let's be real, like logical here. We can be cold, as cold as ice. Who, if you were to put 100 games, like 100 different games, and then who would you expect between Robert and Mouth? Who would you expect to have the like better score? Like, would Robert come out with most wins, or would Mouth come out with the most wins? That's true. If he doesn't pick Mouth here, it will have consequences. Mouth does hold grudges.
Oh, this is so hard. <laughs> this is the hardest game I ever played in my life. Because I feel like Robert will have will will have a higher percentage of winning games in my opinion if it's between mouth and robert i think robert will win robert will will come ahead um but then but then qb dev brought up a really good idea or the fact that mouth does hold grudges if if ryan does not pick mouth here i think mouth will be like oh you're going down sir or but then if you were to do that though if mouth would be like hey you're going down ryan how dare are you not picking me then and then if team daniel loses the team a can easily vote mouth off like he basically gives a huge target in front of him if he holds a grudge and then be like I'm gonna get you Ryan because if they don't if team Daniel doesn't win house of the head of household game then I feel like it would be very likely that that Ryan will keep the other person over mouth oh that's true but then they have Austin Oh, this is so hard. <laughs> I think Ryan wants mouth because he already has Austin. So he has a strong team. And mouth is not likely to betray him. Ah, I don't think so. I think mouth will definitely betray him. I think he's going to pick Robert. I think Ryan here, he's like, he already knows that he has a good team. Himself and Bear Taffy together, I think they have like, I think in Ryan's mind right now, he's like, I have good players. Um, very likely, I think we will win. And so the third pick is kind of like a little flavor on top of winning. And I think he's like, if I were to pick Mouth, playing a little too safe, there's no saltiness, there's no drama. It's not juicy. So he wants to pick Robert just to just to have Mouth be all angry and be like, how could you, Ryan? And then I think Ryan will like laugh and I think he, he would think it's funny. So in here, I think I'll pick Robert. There. And then this goes to Mouth. Okay, so now Alright, this is good size <clears throat> Oops this two. Week one head of, ho head of household My bracket is incredibly safe Excuse me, Origin, do not copy Oh no, what happened to mouth? Why are you so tiny? There you go, Mouth. Don't be a tiny boy. We got you. Why is keep why is Mouth keep turning smaller? Oops. Mouth, don't be a tiny boy. You can be a big boy. Okay, there you go. Test, test. Head of household, week one. I think it's very safe. It's gotta be Northern Lion. Oh, it's too big. Because it's the, the head of household is the team who won. It's the team captain that, that wins. That wins the game. So I think Ryan will win week one, or Ryan Team Egg will win. So automatically gives the head of household to Ryan. Block nominee is easy. It's uh, Austin. Oh, 
don't don't freeze on me in the mouth this is easy this is this is not hard then it gets hard who will get eliminated between austin and mouth so basically everyone has to vote except the head of household which is ryan so bear taffy rob daniel austin and mouth they all have to vote who's gonna get eliminated i think it's gonna be austin I think it's going to be Austin because Ryan's not going to vote. I think Bear is going to be like, if Team Daniel does not have Austin, then they, they lose the strongest player in their team. So it will be easier for them to win again next week. And then Rob, Robert will be like, yeah. I agree. Let's vote Austin off. And then. Then. So that's that's two votes on Austin. And Daniel's going to be like. Ah. I can't vote for Austin. He's the strongest man in my team. So I'm going to vote Malf. And then Austin will definitely vote for Mouth. But then Mouth is going to vote for Austin. So I think it's going to be Austin that's going to get kicked out by, by three to two. I think, I think first elimination, Austin. Week two. All right, I thought it would take three hours, but I guess it's not. <laughs> head, of house, head of household. So Team Daniel is Dan, Mouth, and then Team Egg is Ryan, Bear, Taffy, Rob. Sorry, it gotta be Ryan again. Just because I know the game lists. I know the games that we're playing here. I'm sorry, no spoilios. But I have all the games lined up. At least the main games lined up. So I think I think Ryan Team Ryan will definitely win on this one. This I can bet like ten dollars on this. Week two's head of household. I think it's gonna be Ryan. Oh, but then you know it, 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 it depends. It depends if Ryan picks a different person. I don't know. I think it's gonna be. I think it's very easy, easily Team Egg winning week two. I think rigged. Mm, is it though? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe people are already practicing the game. <gasps> maybe they're practicing it so that they will actually be better. So maybe, maybe it will be Team G. If they, if they practice, then Team G can win. But if they don't practice, then obviously it's going to be Team Egg. Spoilers? How is that a spoilers? I'm telling you, if you practice, then they can do better. Um, all right, block nominee, so it becomes mouth automatically, oopsie, oh, no, 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 there you go, but then this one, it becomes 1v1 between Bear Taffy and Alpaca Patrol. Who loses? This one, I don't know. Because I do not know the game. I haven't picked the game for it yet. So I don't know. Um, It's literally just 50-50% right now. 
because I, I haven't picked the game for this part. I only lined up the main games, <clears throat> like the head of household games, not the games in between the nominees. So I don't know. <laughs> Whisper me which game. <laughs> Mm. Man, this one's hard because I don't know. I don't know the game that we'll be playing. It might be as simple as as you know, GeoGuessr or something. You know, just just tossing out some ideas here because I haven't picked the game yet. No, 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 this would be, this would be the game between Bear Tafia and Alpaca Patrol. Ryan will not be playing this one. <laughs> yeah, it will be 1v1 in this scenario, Bear versus Rob. So I don't, I don't, which game, let's just say like, you guys have the choice. You want to have Robert win. What game would you pick against Bear Taffy? So you'll be like, hey, if, if I, I would pick this game because I think Robert would more likely to win against Bear Taffy in this game. Drawing? Yeah, but then... I guess it would be like everyone is in the same lobby. And then the person with the most point wins, but nobody else dr uh, draws. Only, only uh, a pucka patrol and bear taffy. <laughs> Mordhau, that's true. Mordhau. Madden twenty twenty. Well, how about this then? Which game would would you give it to Bear Taffy so that he can win against Rob? Splunky? Rocket League? For Honor? Platformers? I don't know, Splunk is a game where you think, you think they will win, but then, you know, one mistake, just one little mistake could, could just kill you, you know, just like, they, they're a good player and then suddenly a thwomp shows up and then just kills you, or maybe you, you didn't know there was a spike and then you kill, it kills you and then you're done. Rocket League? But I feel like Rocket League, there's no random death. Like, there's no random chance of losing. I feel like if one is actually better than the other, they would just crush them. I feel like for Splunky, I think Bear would be like, oh, you know, I, I might be... I might have more wins than Robert, but you know, this game, you just make one, one mistake and you're dead. So you just, you just never know, you know, you just gotta, you just gotta play cool, no mistake. And then, but then if he's full of himself, he's like, ah, I'm, I'm against Robert, I easy, let's go boys. And then he just jumps into the spike trap or something and then he dies. And then Robert, he's like, because he knows he's in the disadvantaged place, disadvantageous space that he would be like, I'm going to play slow. I'm going to play it carefully. And then, but then like he comes out with the win. I don't know. Bear would dominate Rob and Splunky. 
Who wants to be a millionaire, dude? Now that's a galaxy brain. <laughs> Who wants to be a millionaire? And then Ryan's reading out the question. I think it will be a pocket patrol. Just by looking at the percentage, I think Bear has more games that he can win against Rob. So now, who will get eliminated? This is also really hard. Now, Rob. I think because it's not like, it's not really making anyone like super stronger by eliminating one or the other. I think Team Egg is gonna stay true and they're gonna be like, don't worry, Robert, we're gonna, we're, we're here for you. Don't you worry. We're gonna boat off mouth. Cause I don't think, I don't think Team Egg, I don't think Ryan, I don't think Bear Taffy will backstab Rob. My uploaded bracket has Robert winning the entire thing? Dude, oh my gosh, if that actually happens, poggers, poggers. So I think, I think Team Egg will stay true and will not betray Rob. And we'll just fold mouth off. So I think eliminated mouth. I think that one, that one's not too hard. Now, head of, head of household week three. Which game was the week three again? <laughs> oh, I know which game is the week three. I know. Um, well, I mean, Team Daniel, it's just Team Daniel, it's just himself. And then Ryan has his whole full team still. So I, I would say, I would say, I don't know, but. Mm, I think this will activate Dan. You know how when Dan is activated, he actually gets the luck. He actually manipulates the whole universe. So he gets a win. I think in this one, I think Dan will win. I think Dan will manipulate the whole space and the universe. So he will draw all the luck into his body. And, and I think he will win. Depends on what the game is. I know what the game is. But. I don't know. How. Like. Uh, it's. it's It can go anyway. I think this, this one can go anyway. <laughs> Draw so Uno. <laughs> Let's just call it Uno. Why not? Like this, the third week game can go anywhere. I think this one just, just, just uh, roll the dice basically. Do we know what any of the games are? I have not told anyone because I asked Chet if you guys want to know, but then Chet said, oh. Chet said, no, we do not want to know. We do not want to know. So I, I did not tell them. Game of pure chance, each person rolls a dice, higher rolls win. <laughs> so I think... I think it's gonna be Daniel. 
Denji. Oops. Denji wins. And he's like, yeah! Yeah, that's right! That's right! Cool, cool, then chain in the chat, please! Cool, then chain! And then Daniel is, and then everyone in the chat, in Dan's channel is like, I was here, I was here, I was here. And then they're like, yeah, yeah. And he's doing the, the gif of the um, big brother. Like he jumps in the air fist bumping. Like, yeah, like he will be doing that. I can already see it. And then obviously that goes to... I think, what was the rule for week three? Can he pick Ryan? Week three. Yeah, I guess week three he can pick Ryan. So, Ryan. I think he will definitely pick Ryan. And I think he will pick Bear. So Cuz like he wants to get rid of the strongest players, right? And then Ryan will vote for Bear Taffy. Bear Taffy will vote for Ryan. Robert will vote for Ryan. And then Dan will vote for Ryan. So I think Ryan will be out. This one's not centered. There you go. So I think Ra I think Ryan will be out on week three. Then week four. Who wins the one v one v one? I know which game it is. So we have we have Rob, Dan, and Bear, right? Rob, Dan, Bear. Mm. Oh my gosh, I think it's gonna be Dan. So they can eliminate themselves if they want. I mean, yeah, kind of. I mean, that's how Big Brothers plays. They Even the nominated people, uh, they, they get to vote. They get to vote. If they truly want to get eliminated themselves, they can vote themselves, yes. I think this one... You might say I'm crazy. Oh, I don't know. I know I know what game they're playing on week four. But this is also a close to just a rolling a dice, I think. So if I were to roll the dice, honestly, I want to say Dan G. I think this is where Dan G gets activated. Like laser beams coming out of his eyes. And it's like, this is, this is where I shine, boys. I, you think it would be bare? This one is hard. I think this is like literally, oh, it can go anywhere. 
Oh my gosh, I don't know. Should I say Bear? Should I say Dan? Oh, you could be Rob. You could be Rob as well. You know what? Let's say Bear. I think I think Daniel used all of his brain glycogen last week. He still could not get his brain glycogen refilled by the week four. So he's lacking a little bit of brain power here. And then and then he gives it to Bear. Then Barry will definitely pick Robert. I think Bear will not pick Dan. Bear, Alpaca Patrol, they've been same team since week one. They're they're they love each other. They're partners. They're like, yo, I like you, you like me, we're friends. So I think I think Bear will pick Rob. And then now it comes to champion of salt. Who? So the juries. Now the, everyone gathers. So that's Dan, Ryan, Austin, Mouth. Everyone's gathered. They're just like, all right, we're going to give a vote of who's going to win. So Ryan is going to vote for bear because i think ryan would be like well bear taffy he won the f he won the the finalist game i think he played a really good game i think he's a fair guy he's a good guy he never did anything wrong i like him give it to bear and then daniel i think daniel will be like i don't know if it's between bear and rob who would Dan pick? I don't know. Skip. Um, Austin. I think Austin will pick Bear. Mouth. I think Mouth will pick Rob. So now, Dan. Dan, Dan might pick Rob. So then we have a tie game here. And when it comes to tie game, the last vote, I will give it to the audience. Now the audience. You guys will be able to break the tie. If there's a tie between Bear and Rob, who will who will you vote? Bear or Rob, Chet? It's this is all you. Rob, so my bracket is right. <laughs> that's what the heck? That's not how it, that's not how it works, dude. <laughs> bear. People will vote bear. Bear taffy. Okay, so then bear taffy wins. All right, audience's favorite. Now this is this is like a cherry on top. Who who would be the audience's favorite? Dan or Ryan? Austin for sure. It's popularity contest. It's obviously Ryan that wins. Audiences favorite favors Dan most likely. Dan, Dan G. This is it. This 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 concludes my my guess of Champions of Salt Spice Rack. <laughs>